Chris Willis is known for bringing attention to the box office, but the action star is bringing new attention to a communication disorder after a diagnosis led to an early retirement for the actor. Now Chippewa Valley advocates affected by aphasia are speaking out about the condition. News 18's Jay Stahl has their stories. No. We all have things that are hard to say. I'm sorry. I love you. I don't know. Two, two years. I would say uh, um, a lot has gone, started make, getting worse, getting worse. But Jane Helland is one of two million Americans struggling with aphasia, a communication disorder that results from damage or injury to parts of the brain responsible for language. So the unique thing about aphasia is the individual is smart, has good memory, is uh, aware of what's going on. Um, but for example, if you were in the hospital and had a stroke with aphasia and somebody said, uh, can you tell me what day of the week it is? The person would know it, but they may not be able to get the word out. That's Dr. Tan Sather, a UW-Eau Claire Communication Sciences and Disorders professor who studies aphasia and staffs the Chippewa Valley Aphasia Group, a monthly support group for Chippewa Valley folks struggling with the condition. A close friend who was his physical therapist um, said, go to the university. You know, they, they have these groups. In 2014, Cecilia Zorn's husband, Wayne, was diagnosed with the disorder. The comment about not looking back, and that really captures sort of a lot of um, my approach in trying not to dwell on what used to be. Zorn says she and Wayne, who now suffers from dementia, are looking to the future. Like Wayne, Jane Helland was diagnosed in 2019. She says aphasia has changed her life. I would say big changes for me. Um, I, uh, I went from a lot of, I love doing everything. Jane's daughter, Tammy Helen, says the Chippewa Valley Aphasia Group is like a second home for her mom. I'm just grateful to know about the uh, UW Group and the support we have. It is like a second family. All of us have things that are hard to say. The Chippewa Valley Aphasia Group hasn't lost their voice. They found one together, and they're using it to help others. It was Jay Stahl reporting. Now, the Chippewa Valley Aphasia Group meets in person and on Zoom throughout the year. Dr. Sather also runs a local nonprofit group, the Chippewa Valley Aphasia Network, with other UW-Eau Claire professors and an annual camp. You can learn more about those at WQOW.com.